guys, welcome back to Pixie Woo. We are at White Rabbit Studios in Old Street today and we are filming a top secret project. And actually this video is from like a couple of months ago, but it's been so top secret that I wasn't able to show you until now. So with me is my sister Nick and Ruth Crilly and they're gonna tell you a little bit more about what we're doing today. So Ruth, tell us why you've dragged your favourite makeup artist to, <laughs> to do your makeup today. We are doing, it's really exciting. Super exciting. Um, we are in the heart of East London, train going by literally on top of our heads because we're in a too cool for school studio. Oh, missed it. Missed it, too slow. <laughs> um, we are shooting the campaign pictures today for a brand new product which is called Colab and it's an amazing dry shampoo, which you've tried. Yes, I love it. Um, and, and today we're doing the campaign pictures. So we've just finished the first shot. This is, basically there were five versions of this amazing invisible dry shampoo. And each version is a city and a different fragrance. And so we've just stuck, we've finished London. London. You've got the again. London look at the moment. I have the London look, which people always put comments and I never knew what it was. And then I realized it was a women advert. So thanks for that, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Talk to us more about the. Uh, is this your chance to plug the most interesting product <laughs> ever? Come on! I know, but it's so, I'm so used to not being able to talk about it. It's so almost like, like, can I can I say anything? <laughs> so this is it, and it's got my one of it, oh, which so I'm like, so it makes me shake. It literally you. makes me shake. You deserve it. And my little picture on the back, and it's both. Well, basically, dry shampoo was the first products that I probably had used on me backstage as a model mm. like over a decade ago. They used to use these little shaky powders that you I remember being backstage and they'd always have that and a specific hairspray. They yeah. always have dry hair and hair shampoo. Well now it's like completely taken off. Yeah. And the thing is what I like about it is it gives you that little bit of texture and volume but it hasn't got the stickiness of a mousse and it's not kind of crispy like hairspray and so I can see why it's so popular. I mean as a styling product it's amazing. I mean people think that you can only use it to take the grease out when it's a bit dirty. Well that's why I didn't ever use to use it but actually now you've taught me a lesson that it can be used um, just to freshen hair before it goes that tip me, over. I've never, I've never really thought about it with greasy roots because you wash your hair before you go to a shoot. So the hairstylist was never using it because the hair was dirty. It was to add like texture. grit and texture and a little bit of um, from the roots. My bugbear with them has always been that they go white and they're chalky. And this is why I collaborated with this one, Colab, as you can see. Colab. Just because I think it's a bit of a game changer. Actually, for five cities, let's get a few more here. I've got a different fragrance. My favourite is London. I like Paris as well. It's very fruity. Um, but they're all completely different and all based on a fine fragrance style blend of, mm. of notes. Thank you. So over the next two days... I thought she was there then. We're <laughs> <laughs> just, just right having a right old chat here, <laughs> I want to start more. Over the next two days we're going to be creating different makeup looks and different hair looks to go with each of the new hair shampoos, right? We are indeed. We are. Yeah, and yeah. so the makeup and hair that you're wearing now is London. Yeah. What did you use, Nick? Um, I used, I wanted to keep it all really perfect, imperfect, because I think that just sums London up. So it's very smudgy, very dark, very minimal on the skin, really, and very minimal on the lips. A few individual false lashes. I kept it really, really cream because when you work on a shoot, quite often you have to move the products around a lot and I almost like the fact that it creases and goes a little bit dishevelled halfway through. It's day two, we're back in the studio with Madame Crilly there. And Nick, what are you doing? Uh, today we're doing a New York look and um, we felt that New York was really really glowy skin but really polished at the same time a bit more makeup than natural mm -hmm. but still nice and healthy so we've done a really full makeup it's really healthy really glowing I've bronzed the skin up a little bit a little bit of highlighter but still a smoky eye and some really soft natural lashes and then on the cheeks I've just used an Anastasia brow pen to just give slight little freckles but nothing too much beautiful let me come around the other side and see this is my favorite look makeup look is, is it, it? Mm. yeah i do like it it's it beautiful. beautiful okay so this is michelle kelly who is the stylist for the last few days quite hard to come up with like stereotypical yeah without being too literal or too or too obvious so um for london for example we 
you know, the inspiration was Kate Moss, you know, Alexa Chan, kind of cool girl about town. So, um, and the and the packaging was was black and white. So we went for a black and white look, um, biker jacket, little um, dog tooth shirt, um, a little bit tomboyy but a little bit feminine, cool mm. at the same time. Um, and then Rio, obviously party, carnival, sexy, a little bit beachy, we went for some pendants, lots of colour. Um, Paris, very, maybe a, a, a little bit more obvious, but chic, went for that sort of pink Chanel, um, uh, you know, kind of lady, but undone lady look. Mm. Um, and then um, New York, which we're about to do now, um, we're going to go for something quite polished, maybe um, like uh, inspiration like DKNY out on the street. Nice. Like um, a little sort of jacket with a dress, um, you know, sort of pa pa powerful. But Cute. Powerful. So what are you thinking out of these I things? I don't really know. I'm just, I'm just trying to do it. I'm like, oh, yeah, New York, getting my New York head on. Um, I can come back to you, Michelle. Yeah, I think maybe. Maybe a little shoulder robe in. With yeah, a nice. And, um, and like a shift dress. Um, but literally, we're going to see like this much. But, um, you know, just to, to get her into the mood for Gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. And we've got lovely shoes down here. Yeah. Even though you don't see the shoes, yeah. I'm always sidetracked by shoes. Look at those. Lots of colours. I love those. Thanks so much, Michelle. Hi, you're welcome. Right. I love them, Mike. Hands up, collar. So this is what happens on a shoot. Photos come through to here as they're being taken. Where they can take notes and see which one is the shot. Everyone's blowing wind. On Ruth's hair we've got Go doing that. Gosh, little Dexter running around. Sam's having a rest. <laughs> Taking it all in. Well, this was my look, so um, she doesn't really have to do much, this one. So, Ruth, the model of the moment, how, how are you feeling? I am feeling incredibly excited. I just can't wait for people to try it out and put some campaign images. Really pleased. What do you think when you see your name on the can? How does that feel? It's quite surreal. Yeah. But I love it. I think I was always very nervous about what I would want to collaborate with. It had to be something that wasn't out there already and it was a little bit of a game changer and finding this is quite exciting. Seeing it on the shelves is going to be really surreal. I might have a little cry when I see it. Oh my God, of course you will. <laughs> it's so exciting. Yeah. We're super proud of you. Aww, it's, going to be, it's going to be amazing. It's such a good product. Yeah. So Ruth, one last question, where can you get collab? Um, going into Superdrug, but also my favourite online beauty store, which is Feel Unique. And I'm always plugging Feel Unique, so I think they're amazing. And they do free worldwide delivery and all sorts of things. So yeah, I'm pleased about that. Awesome, top banana. <laughs>